What's up, you guys? It's man, it's your boy Kane. Coming back at you with another YouTube channel exclusive. Hey, it's your boy Kane, man. Coming back at you with another video, you guys. Remember, like and subscribe. Help my channel out. Help it grow. subscribers so hopefully my next goal is to get to 2,000 man thank you very much for all my supporters and everybody that does tune in to what I got going on but now I'm taking it back you guys so uh, a lot of you may not know this but I did actually need a, a full-time job to become a full-time photographer and video the I used to work at Comcast actually I was an electrical engineer um, I work with design, I design fiber optics, and pretty much what I did was um, throughout all the fiber optic routes throughout the neighborhood of Houston, I would pretty much be the designer on using AutoCAD on the uh, computer programming uh, side. So I really did love my job a lot. Uh, I had been there for about five years, and um, just like thinking back, everyone always always asks me like, why did I leave? I left really just for passion and to be my own boss as well as follow my dreams. Um, a lot of times, man, if you know my story, you don't really get that many chances in life. So you kind of take it. You know, I'm not like a younger person. So the choice that I made to do it was purely, purely based off of faith and believing in God and pretty much just um, going with my dream. Uh, I feel like any other opportunity I would have had to do it, I don't think I would have ever had an opportunity like I had in this position. So I took it and I ran with it. Um, so the reason why I wanted to do this video is it's about six months from since I started working with uh, Jamel Charlotte. Anybody know that I work for the pro boxer Jamel Charlotte? That's a whole nother video that I will post later on. What it's like working with a professional boxer because it is a lot. It's ups, it has its downs, but mainly like the blessing that I get to wake up every morning and do what I love is like the passion behind everything. Yeah, I worked for Comcast and that was literally my dream job, literally. It was a nine to five job, had a cubicle, used to dress my cubicle up and all that stuff. I, had, I remember my uh, daughter being born, I had one month old photos in our cube and all that stuff. And um, we had a nice little team. I actually missed my team. Shout out to the team at Design Team, miss you guys. Not even sure any of y'all even watch this channel, but if you do, just know that I'm missing you guys and I hope y'all are being blessed. But just when you are given opportunities in life and, and you know that opportunity is kind of something that you kind of were bred to do, I kind of fell into it in that manner. This goes back to like photography. So um, I've always actually been into photography or video really, but um, most of my life, but I never really took it serious until like maybe about two or three years ago when my daughter was born. So my daughter's five now, so about give or take three years ago. What mainly motivated me to want to do film is because I remember growing up as a kid, my mom could not afford a uh, camcorder, VHS, a camcorder. Um, and that was back in the day when like they used to put the big VHS blocks inside the, the thing that you held on your shoulder, like the big, big ones, right? Um, but I remember my mom couldn't afford it. So all I remember, I can't make this up, all I remember is my mom would have cassette tapes as a recorder and she would record my voice. And that's all I had as memory. All, other than that, all I had was photos, right? So that was a main thing for me. As I said, whenever I had kids, I would spend more focus on making memories that they can go back and look at at a later date. So that literally is my motivation. Um, I don't know if a lot of you know my daughter, her name is Heavenly Scott Miller. Um, Dad, she's five like now. But um, that was literally my motivation, just to make memories with her. And then it ended up transforming into something else. So shout out to Jose, shout out to Mount Effect, shout out to Randall, shout out to Lou, man, shout out to Team Mount Effect, man. But um, that was probably most likely my first breakthrough as far as with my YouTube and my cinematic where that's I really just live, formed man. my um, oh, cinematic live, touch on videos. Um, Lou pushed me one day to go to one of these car meetings. And I, can, I can't remember. Shout out to Lou. 
I can't remember what car meet it was, but I remember I talked to Jose. I've known Jose for a long period of time because he had worked with my car ages ago when I had a, a, a red charger with some 22s. Man, I missed them days. But uh, he pretty much just took a chance with me, man. I started uh, building with him and Randall and Modifex and working on my craft. And that probably was about maybe two or three years ago when we started that process. So, um, and here we are now. Um, I've been to most of these car meets. It's crazy over a period of time, and I've gained so much exposure, and I've learned so many people, and met so many new got new faces. I got to a position where I kind of built a fan base. Um, it wasn't a really big fan base. It wasn't very, you know, but people kind of knew who I was. But yeah, big shout out to my defects, man. They pretty much gave me my breakouts. Breakout job when I just used to do I used to do everything you guys I used to do film photography for cars all that stuff cars is my main thing that I used to do right um but ultimately I wanted more cars was kind of like an in the window type thing I got in the door got my foot in the door but I really wanted to um, move into portraits and maybe some someday film so that really was my goal as far as that because I know that's where the money is um, but film really became my love. So technically speaking, I've always been really, really good at film, but I haven't been that clutch in photography. So I kind of wanted to build my brand with that as well. I ended up working for detail shops, working for car, car, uh, car spots, rental places, all you, you name it. I pretty much shot it. But uh, also wanted to go into like why I actually left Comcast. But um, I mean, they had it going away. And our team was growing, uh, but I just knew I was missing something. Um, it's one thing to have a dream and another thing to have a passion. And I feel like a lot of times we get those two misconstrued with saying that you have your dream job, right? But your passion may not be into it. So it's one thing of I knew that if I was able to have a self-sufficient job where I can control my hours, I can be my own boss, I can make my own money, then even if it's not as much money as I was making the first job, at least I'd be more happier. So that's literally where I drew the line at. So nine times out of ten, a lot of people may look at me like, man, I have a dream job, whatever, but it is work, you guys. Um, that'll be done in my next video when I talk about like what it's like working with a pro boxer. But ultimately, like I just knew that me doing it, I would be a lot happier I would be able to spend more time with my daughter, um, just my family in general, and that was really just a chance that I was willing to take. So mind you, you guys, like, pursue your dreams early in life, um, but at the end of the day, man, just make sure you're happy with what you do. You know, we have a lot of people that look up to us. I don't want to be one that is be at a job where, yeah, I retire and all that. It just, it just didn't seem... Um, inducive to like what I wanted to do. I'm more of a creative, I'm on the creative side, so I like to create things, I like to build things, I like to structure things and make things out of nothing. So that's literally where I, where I had my passion in. I'm gonna do a couple of questionnaires and stuff going uh, alongside with that, but I just wanted to get on here and just really talk about the reason why I did make the leap. as far as to start my own career in photography and videography. My official name is Creative. I I go by Creative Media, but I really don't like the media because I do so much more than just media. So it's kind of hard to just, I don't really want to be in a box. So but that's just a lot, something about me and where my mindset is as far as uh, how I started in the game and where I've come from. I feel like a lot of stuff that I do feel like, feel like doing, I can't even teach people or just give people a storyline about how I started and maybe that might motivate others to do the same. But, um, this your boy Kane over now. Make sure y'all like subscribe to my video.